वन एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल द नेशन नीड्स यू ऑल अबाउट एस एस बी सो टूडे अगेन दिस इज येट अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ आर लेक्चरेट सीरीज एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज एक्चुअली वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज एरा एंड विच इज सिटीजनशिप अमेंडमेंट बिल यू ऑल वुड बी हियरिंग अ लॉट ऑफ न्यूज एंड एनालिसिस अबाउट सिटीजनशिप अमेंडमेंट बिल एंड हेन्स इट मेक्स इट वन ऑफ द हॉट टॉपिक्स फॉर लेक्चरेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी so without wasting any time let's begin the video hello everyone the topic for my lecture it is citizenship amendment bill let's first understand what the citizenship amendment bill is under this bill all the illegal migrants from the community of hindu sikh christian parsi buddhist and jains will be given citizenship on the basis of the fact that they are the minorities from the three of our neighboring countries pakistan afghanistan and bangladesh this bill clearly signifies that no other minority or majority community will be entertained i am referring towards the muslim community well the government have a very fair ground for uh, choosing only these six minorities the reason being that the three countries in the bill are already islamic republics so it's not something that one could accept that the muslim people will face discrimination or for that matter minority persecution hence only the six minority communities are allowed in this bill this bill has also got the provision for the citizenship by naturalization and the residing period from current 11 years has been reduced only to 5 years well as you all know that india is a democratic country where people have several mandate about a bill this bill has been opposed by different opposition party uh, namely congress trinamool congress or cpi and their reason is absolutely ambiguous they say that this bill is based upon religion which is not the truth this bill is totally based upon the minority structure the second reason of opposition is uh, witnessed in the northeastern state uh, predominantly by the people who think that this bill will give a very fair and legalized way to the outsiders of our country to get permanent settlement here but the government of our country have given very clear mandate that this is not going to happen every application will be checked thoroughly no person will be given citizenship by the misuse of this particular bill different intelligence agencies and particularly raw have warned the government that the infiltration from pakistan may increase in a legalized way to which government have again assured that the machinery will be made so strong that anything which can lead up to misuse or the corrupt conduct of the bill will be brought to the government's attention and it will be uh, it will be handled with a lot of seriousness i am uh, totally in support of this bill because this is not our duty to entertain every community we need to first feed our population we cannot let other population come into our country and and sort of misuse our resources and i completely extend my support to the government thank you Uh, well i hope that you all would have been hearing a lot about this bill and uh, uh, please keep aside the lecturer part and as a normal citizen of this country we need to understand that this bill is not going to discriminate our muslim brothers not at all our country was secular is secular and will remain secular because the constitution is our most prior book and we follow it diligently without any miss so if someone is propagating false message that this bill will uh, divide our country this bill will make a bad feeling in our muslim brothers no it is not the opposition from assamis people is totally different is on the totally different ground and government machineries are working for that any whatsapp message text facebook post or anything that is maligning the image of our government or this bill i request you all not to propagate it further also you would be surprised to know that the three countries in which the bill is pointing towards have registered a significant decline in the number of people from the six communities that have been mentioned in the bill they are actually forced to convert themselves into the religion of the choice of that particular country and the majority of that particular country don't you think that this is totally unfair 
This is totally inhuman. And if the government is protecting those people, then this is our duty to help our government realize this dream. Where in India, where in our country, there is place for each and every person who is molested, molested or discriminated. This is my request to all of you that, okay, this is the part of lecturate, but above the lecturate, this holds a lot of meaning and we need to help our government in implementing this bill. So with this, thank you so much everyone for your time and we will meet you all in the next episode. Till then, take care everyone and the nation needs you.